Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Askar Askarov to defeat Kai Kara France. And I'm here to talk about Lucia Pudalova versus Eileen Perez. Eileen Perez is 8 and 2 as a pro, 29 years old, and she's given up 3 inches of height and 1.5 and inches of reach to 29 year old Pudalova, who is 14 and 8. Uh, Lucia Pudalova, she's been around the block. Uh, as I said, eight losses. Only one of them is by finish, and that's a submission to Antonina Shevchenko. A technical finish, a uh, rear naked choke in round two. And the other seven losses are all by decisions. And a lot of them are, or all of them are high profile fights. Jocelyn Edwards, Toledo Bernardo, Justine Quiche, Liz Carmouche, Rene Aldana. Uh, all high-profile fighters. And, of course, she lost to Teresa Bleda three years ago in an exhibition fight. But that was... And that had some weird uh, round breakdown, too. Some weird structure to it. But she was out-grappled uh, and out-wrestled specifically. And that's her primary weakness, Lucia Pudalova. She is a long, tall giraffe that gazelle or whatever she's not the most imposing athlete and it's easy to get in on her and rip her to the mat and i think eileen perez is going to be looking to do that certainly after her last fight against um ashley evan smith uh, but lucia pudalova she is a striker first and foremost and she's very comfortable in a war i'll always go back to her fight with her Rene aldana which uh, you should revisit if you haven't seen it in a while it was a fucking war. I think that was a split decision. But uh, Lucia Pudalova is tough. Very tough. She has a great uh, work rate on the feet. You know, especially if you'll oblige her and give her the range and all that. And uh, she's also uh, a girl that I think typically gets better down the stretch. Lucia Pudalova. And uh, she's not the most imposing fighter. She did finish Wu Yanan when she made a return to the UFC. This is her second stint. Uh, but that's rare for her. I think uh, just being such an unimposing fighter, if she does win, it's going to be by decision. And if she does lose, it's going to be by decision. Welcome to female MMA. Uh, Eileen Perez, if she uh, loses, uh, it might be by disqualification. She's got an eight and two record, eight wins, four by knockout or TKO, one by submission and three by decision. And the two losses come one by submission and one by disqualification. She lost in her debut in the UFC to Stephanie Egger. That was a rear naked choke in round two. And the disqualification is actually to a current UFC fighter in Tamirez Vidal, who uh, uh, got a DQ victory after she kneed her in the head against the cage and just a total shit fest of a fight. But uh, Eileen Perez was definitely winning that fight before she lost it. And she rebounded uh, from her Stephanie Edgar loss with a gigantic win over Ashley Evans Smith. I don't know if it was gigantic. I mean, it's Ashley Evans Smith. But uh, either way, Eileen Perez looked very good in that fight. Ashley Evans Smith was coming off a long layoff, and she's closer to 40 now, and a lot of shit going against her. Uh, but Eileen Perez looked incredible in that fight. She looked like fucking Marab Dwalish Willie and was just tossing around Ashley Evan Smith like a pizza and out scrambling her and never giving her a moment to breathe. And she's a girl that uh, doesn't really have, uh, you know, uh, the deepest resume and she doesn't have, she has uh, less than half the experience of Lucia Pudalova, but She's a very good athlete, seems to have good cardio, maybe not the best decision-making throughout the, the fights, and uh, she's got good wrestling. I mean, Ashley Evan smith may have been a ghost of herself, and she may have been dog shit to begin with and whatever else, but she's a big, strong girl, and Ash Eileen Perez was tossing her around like a pizza. Again, a pizza dough. Anyway, you don't ever toss a pizza. Unless you're Walter White, I guess. But Eileen Perez is my pick for this fight. I think uh, she is going to out-wrestle Lucia Pudalova. I don't think it's going to look quite like it did against Ashley Evan smith I think uh, Lucia Pudalova will uh, defend takedowns better. But Eileen Perez will still get in on her hips and grind her against the cage 
in between moments where she is taking it to the mat. While they're standing up, I trust Lucia Pudelova more. I think she, of course, has the better work rate and all that, but she's also a much more comfortable striker and a cleaner striker. But I don't think she's got the physicality to stop what's coming for her in Irene Perez. I think Irene Perez will be the one dictating this fight, and uh, she will match the activity of Lucia Pudelova and exceed it, but do so with grappling. And I think she's going to win this fight on points. I'd be very surprised if either fighter got a finish, to be frank. Uh, but certainly if Eileen Perez got a finish, that would really surprise me. I don't envision it happening, but I do envision her outworking Lucia Pudelova. So Eileen Perez is the pick. I got her by decision. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.